Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a bit of a different video. I feel like I've just been posting a lot of flip throughs lately. Um, so I just wanted to show you today the art supplies that I use for coloring. Um, I have a ton of art supplies but I only use some of them for coloring so I'll only show those. Um, I'll start off with my color pencils. Um, in this case, which I got off of Amazon, uh, I have two sets. So I have the Art Advantage coloring pencils, um, which right here, this is what they look like up close. Oops, Let's see if I can get that to focus. Nope. Um, I think these are really great for kind of something that's a step above uh, Crayola color pencils, but isn't as expensive as something like Prismacolors. Um, my main pet peeve with them is they don't come numbered or with names, so I had to create my own little numbers on them so that I could keep track of my colors that I use and color combinations, etc. Um, this is a set of 100, and I think you could get them for like $30 or something online, so I would definitely recommend these instead of Crayola color pencils because they work a lot better. Um, and then the second set that I have in here are my Fabric Castell Polychromos, and it's the 120 piece set, and I love these pencils. They are on the pricier side, not as expensive as Holbein's or Pablo's. I believe, is it Pablo's? No, it's Carnda Ash. Um, so they're a little cheaper than the Carnda Ash uh, pencils, I believe. Um, and you can probably find some really good deals on these on eBay and stuff. Um, these are really amazing if you're wanting to invest in a good coloring pencil set. It comes in a nice range. Uh, and then the last set, I only have three sets, which is, I mean, okay, um, I probably would have more if I let myself, but, <laughs> um, these are, like, my go-to pencils. I don't have other, any other sets than these, but I do have some on my wish list, um, but it's just not something for now. Um, anyways, these are the Prismacolors. This is the 150 set. I got this case on Amazon. Uh, I really like the design. Not such a big fan of the multiple pencils in one slot, but it's okay. Um, so this is the 150 set, and these are really soft and really nice to work with on smoother papers. Um, and yeah, they just like go on the paper really really well, really smoothly. Um, you kind of have to be careful with buying Prismacolors because um, lately there have been a lot of problems. I might post a review online, but just to like illustrate, here's my orange pencil. Look at that. It's like been shaved off. Um, so you do have to be aware of that. I wouldn't pay full price for these pencils. You can find a lot of really good deals on eBay and Amazon has a lot of sales on these. Um, so that's it for the pencils. Oh, I guess I should show you my swatches. These are my Prismacolor swatches. Right there. And then the Polychromos. So it's kind of interesting because you get different color ranges with each set. So like the polychromos have a really good um, orange and red range. And the prismacolors have a really good um, blues and greens uh, range of colors. So there's those. And I don't have my... Um, Art Advantage ones, the first ones that I showed you, I don't have those swatched, 
Okay, and then I got these markers at the our craft store went out of business, so they were having everything on sale. I don't know what brand they are, but they came in this nice little case or stand, which is really nice. Um, that might be Art Advantage also. Um, it's 100 pieces, and they're just water-based markers, and they're really nice to work with if you want to do something quick. My other markers, I have these Stabilo fine liners. Yeah. So I have the 48 set, and they're the .4. And they all fit very nicely in this little case. In case you were wondering how to store these. They fit like perfectly in here. Um, and it has a really good, like, pretty good range of rainbow colors. Um, a lot of browns and reds. <clears throat> One thing I have noticed with the fine liners versus the super tips is the fine liners tend to bleed more, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, and then I think, oh yeah, my Arteza brush pens, and I am pretty new to brush pens, so I'm still trying to figure them out. Um, this is the 48 set, um, it's got a really decent range, a lot of, um, reds and purples and um, yeah, more, mostly reds and purples, and then some of the other ranges like brown, a lot of brown. Um, so far I've liked them, but I have noticed you want to use thicker, toothier paper with them, um, if you want to blend. If you're straight coloring with them, then, um, just keep an eye on how much pigment you're putting on the paper, because it does bleed through to the other side. Um, even on the thicker papers. Uh, and then another medium. So these are just Fantasia Artist watercolor pencils. And I really like these for like getting the base layer for a watercolory background and look. Um, they don't. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong side. Um, I really like the color range, but. Something to keep in mind with watercolor pencils, especially more student grade, is that the pigment will lighten after you wet it with water. Um, so these are, even though they go down very vibrant, they uh, tend to actually be more um, faint once you apply the water. Um, so if you know the really good watercolor pencil that doesn't do that, let me know. Um, but for now, this keeps me happy. And then lastly, Emily Leslie, yeah. Oh, I have gel pens, just like your standard um, gel pen 50 set from Walmart. Uh, I have them in a bag somewhere, but I forgot to grab them. Uh, and then lastly, I just have acrylic paint. Um, I have a lot of the Americana brand, and then this Apple Barrel brand. Uh, let's see. These are all the colors that I have that work well for coloring books. Um, I bought most of these when our craft store was going out of business. Um, and I primarily got these for washes and for background so it's just nothing crazy just like your basic colors um and they're the matte so that you can put color pencil on top and i have noticed too that if you really want this effect to work you do want to use nicer pencils like uh, prismacolors and polychromos because um for some reason, when I did use it on one of my backgrounds and used the cheaper brand of color pencils, it didn't really go down very well, but I think if I'd used a softer 
more pigmented pencil, it would have worked better. Uh, and I believe, oh, man, I keep finding stuff. This is awesome. Uh, I have some glitter. I have just this gold glitter glue, and I just paint it on when I want to use it. And then I have a thing of Winga Stella, but it's in my son's room and he is sleeping, so I won't pull that out. You probably all know what Winga Stella is. And I have a Posca pen somewhere. Um, so I think now that is it. Those are all the uh, supplies that I use for coloring. I am an artist, so I have a lot of oil paint and watercolor paints that I use for my artistic work that I don't generally use for um, adult coloring just because they are a lot more expensive and messy <laughs> and time consuming. But anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any art supplies that you cannot live without that you use for adult coloring, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to check some new products out and be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video and I hope to see you next time. Happy coloring!